everybody, welcome back. My name is Alex. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. You'll help me out a lot. And today I'm testing the performance of the MacBook Air compared to the MacBook Pro that I have right here that I bought last year. This is the 2019, late 2019 model. Well, here, let's take a look at the specs so we can see exactly what we're dealing with. So here is the MacBook Pro specs. As you can see, it's a pretty beefy machine, eight core Intel Core i9, 64 gigs of RAM, and the MacBook Air is the brand new MacBook Air with the Apple Silicon M1 chip with 16 gigabytes of RAM. I don't know how fast the chip is, they don't say, but we're about to get down to business. Now, I've already done a test so I know what's gonna happen and uh, I'm gonna try to act surprised when you see the results here. This machine is a beefy machine right here and it should theoretically beat the MacBook Air. But I don't wanna spoil the video for you but the MacBook Air is actually gonna win. This is crazy. So if, you, if that's all you wanted to know about NX workspaces, then we're done. You can turn off the video. If you actually wanna see me do this, I'm gonna create an NX workspace, which is a, a JavaScript project that lets you share code between Angular projects, React projects, mobile applications. It's just a good enterprise ready solution created by Narwhal. So we're gonna do that here. And in the videos to come, I'm also gonna be testing the performance of these for other software that developers use. I've also downloaded the Visual Studio Code Insiders Edition, which I'm gonna pair up and compare against the regular Intel targeted Visual Studio Code. All right, so let's get on with it. I'm gonna start with the MacBook Pro and I'm gonna run these at the same time. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of setup. All right, NPX create NX workspace. So we're gonna run the NPX command, which is using NPM node. Uh, I do have Node running on both of these machines. If you missed that video, check that out on how to get Node running on the M1. It's pretty easy, really. It just works out of the box. So npx create nx workspace. Okay, I'm gonna press enter at the same time. It doesn't really matter for this step. So in the, right now it's, it's just fetching. This step doesn't take that long. So it's not a really good indicator. So this one says 6.229 seconds, and this one says 6.21 seconds. Okay, fine. So I'm gonna call this workspace Nuvius. Nuvius here as well, enter. Now, I could create an empty workspace, but really we wanna see an application start up. So I'm gonna choose Angular here. It doesn't matter what you use. You can use React as well. You can use Nest. So I'm gonna choose Angular just because I know that one and it takes a little bit of time to build that project. So I wanna show that. Angular on both of these, application name, let's call it to-dos, to-dos, all right, enter. And do we want to use a style sheet format? Yes, we do, we wanna use SAS. Also adds a little bit of extra time for processing, not too much though. And TSLint or ESLint, now I know you're gonna yell at me in the comments. I'm gonna select TS Lint, even though it's December 2020 right now. This option is still available, even though it was deprecated. I'm still going to use it right now. TS Lint. Do we wanna use NX Cloud? And I'm gonna select no for this one. So after I press this, I'm gonna to try to synchronize my return key presses here. This should go ahead and start the execution. And I will run this in real time. It might take a minute or two to build, so be patient. You can use the slider on the YouTube channel there to go back and forth if you need to see it. All right, let's do it. Let's see who's gonna win here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, so we, we are at the installing packages stage right now. And right now it looks pretty much the same. You see that the MacBook Air already finished <laughs> installing the package. This one is caching up. There is no time printed out here, but you'll be able to see that in the video, which one goes first. So we're installing more packages here. It's all the same exact stuff, the same files that are being generated, the same files that are being updated as well. Installing, installing, installing. I should have uh, wrote a joke for this. All right, so this one says packages installed successfully. This one is still on that step. And this one is done. The MacBook Air is done. It doesn't say how long it took, but we can check the timestamps down below. Anyway, that one's done. We're still waiting on this one. What's happening? Well, oh. 
I'm hearing the fan kick up right now. Yeah, the fan on my MacBook Pro just kicked up. And it's finished, so it looks like we're good to go. You saw that this one took longer, even though it's a much beefier machine with more RAM. Let's continue. We're gonna actually run the project now. So I'm gonna go to CD Nuvius here. CD Nuvius. And let's just make this a little bit cleaner. Now, we're gonna run the project. I'm gonna use the NX CLI to run the to-dos application, and I'm gonna trigger it using NPX. So NPX, NX, serve, to-dos. So I'm using NPX, but if you do have NX tools, the NX CLI installed globally on the machine, which I do, but I'm just showing you how to do it this way. You don't have to use NPX, you can just say NX serve to-dos. I'm gonna do the same thing here on the MacBook Air, and I'm gonna press enter at the same time again. Let's see. Okay, let's see who's gonna win. So this one already got to compiling. I can see that it's a little bit ahead. So it's a little bit ahead, but not crazy much, right? It depends how much stuff you have to compile. So right now I have one basic Angular project. All it has in it is just one page and uh, it's not much to compile, but I will be testing this out on a bigger NX workspace that I have. It's actually a real world project and I'm gonna test that out as well and I'm gonna report back or I'll just make another video. Let me know down below if you wanna see that. So we do have this build working. Let's open this up in Chrome. There it is. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Copy that URL. Let's pop open Google Chrome. There we go. Let's see, I'm gonna refresh this. It's pretty instant because Chrome here is actually built for this processor. This Chrome is built for Intel. So it's, you can see the flash is even a little bit longer. Maybe that's just perception, but it doesn't matter. The build is what really matters and the download speed of those NX tools is what really matters. So there you go, folks. The MacBook Air actually won this one, I think. I'd have to give it to that one because of the extra speed. And when you do this process over and over and over again, it's gonna add up. So if the mini is gonna beat the MacBook Pro from last year, then you know the MacBook Pro from this year is gonna beat all of the other ones. So if you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.